Techies and Techettes, what's going down everyone? And today we're going to be going over the 20.8.3 AMD's new Adrenaline software that's hit us. That's going to be hitting some titles like Avengers Above, Project Cars, and some Fortnite situations, which are going to be giving better FPS improvements. So I'm really curious to hear what my community has to say. My name is Mac, here at the McGabber 7 channel, and today we're going to be covering some AMD related news. So let's go ahead and go over the patch notes and we'll get to some really cool benchmarks to show you what's going on with the accelerated bullcrap ecosystem that Windows has given us. And by the way, I don't know if most people know, but if you have an SSD right now, one of the bugs that Windows has is accelerating the defrag mode, which is technically destroying your SSD. So these are the questions you have to ask. These poor GPUs are on a crappy ecosystem and i'm getting ready to build a linux system but let's go ahead and get into the patch notes today so we can see what's going down now one of the things that they put into for as far as adding the support now avengers will be dropping later on very beginning of next month and we'll be seeing a lot of cool stuff going through there so amd is definitely getting a head start on this but with fortnite you have to be in the directx 11 uh, no more, but DirectX 12 on the Epic setting in order for this to work in the advantage and it's going to be a boost that's more favorable to the 5700 XT GPU. So uh, there might not always be every single GPU that goes into it, but the support that we're starting to see are maybe like some more cool stuff for the dynamic states, for the extension inside of there, for the uh, portions of the pipelines. We're looking at the private data, which means security portions of what we'd be looking at into the portion of data in 64 private data slots. Um, so, you know, kind of cool, like keeping it, uh, you know, protected, I suppose. Uh, but this is like your Vulcan support. Like, so they're probably getting ready for maybe some, like, I don't know, bigger navy situations in the near future. I'm sure someone will pick apart the code inside of this and see what's going on. But the image and the robust, as well as the Google and the type engine for the extension for as far as the shaders and the module situations and their extensions. Now looking at the fixed issues that basically came down to game portions, which were the mortar shells. And the experiencing of crashes no more the hd on some of the radeon sync 2 uh, may causing some of the situations to not get the uh top fps getting more than lower fps and then the surviving mars uh the experiencing the hang-ups on the 5000 series uh 5000 series also makes it for the e-football for the pez 2020 on top of the launches on top of the overlay inside of the invoked hybrid graphics cards and the configurations and the hyperscape sometimes would be a little bit of a hang-up uh the counter-strike for as far as the global offense and as well as the experience and the shutters for as what in the background may be a little bit more applicable for discord and then youtube playback may become frozen in the microsoft edge browser and chrome when in the um ryzen 7 3000 series in the 4000 apu configuration so they're just having a little bit of issues now project cars is like going to make it list a lot inside of the known issues that they have as well as a lot of the 5000 series kind of also having a lot of issues um, a lot of these things will be linked down below for as far as what people can kind of see what's going to end up happening for what is open known issues i definitely influence you to check out the written notes which are pretty cool but i figure at this point in time what we can do it's like we slide over and we see the Avengers being ready. Uh, but we can also see that I can take a scoot back and we can see the patch notes coming to an end. Now their test notes were coming from the 24th with their whole setup. They have that right over there. Uh, but one of the cooler things that I wanted to kind of get into and I'll have this like linked down below is more of the tests that we got into that was really, really fun. Um, so right now, back to back and I can pull it up into a better overlay at this point in time. You can kind of see that there is a big well um leap into what's going down and what we basically have is the newer driver versus the older driver so we have on the left which is going to be the more funner portion as the new driver native so that was one of the funner things that i definitely liked for as far as what ends up happening we can see kind of goku coming through the end of that overlay kind of goes back over there uh, but we can kind of see what ends up happening after we run some tests so with going to the very next test you can see that the variable fresh rate is turned on and you can see it matches it and this is the new driver on the right so the 20.8.3 so it's not a lot of like funner things for as far as what ends up being the past and the the right to left so and like you can kind of see that like 
I, I think I said the right, but the left is the newer driver. The right is the older driver. So predecessor 20.8.2 is on the right. Um, left is the newer driver. So you can see that there's kind of like a little bit more of an influence for as far as FPS as we kind of turn around this portion. So there's almost by 200 points. But when the accelerator, the advanced scheduler is involved it is almost a kiss of death with your system it, it you almost have to install the driver uh, again it's really bad like windows is totally dropping the ball and stressing me out I, i've reset the um what was it the cache in order to basically after i went back to the variable fresh rate and i'll show you what i mean by this and this is just directx 11. directx 12 has its own situations that we're going to take a look at too uh, but if you look over here on the the left the brand new driver that should be running pretty good which we see like right out the gate it's running great right and then i turn on the scheduler and it just tanks and i'm just like wow windows just completely can't there so when i went into my radeon settings i just like ditch the i defaulted it and then at the same time i went and refreshed the um the shade caching uh, which you can do in your advanced graphics settings which isn't too hard and that getting me back to a nice stability so as long as it's within this range of the, like the, the variable fresh rate it's pretty good but when you look at what ends up happening with the advanced scheduling it just tanks it and it doesn't really come back and it's the same thing over here on the old driver uh, but again when you have everything off and the variable refresh rate on it's not too bad of a score for the old driver with the current window so once we see some framework uh, probably some 3.5 4.5 for windows inside of their 2004 ecosystem will probably see a little bit more of an advanced graphics um, push for the directx 11 but right now directx 12 is such a big thing since almost all the companies now are putting it in the native software it's becoming more of an actual physical thing that people are looking into so let's go ahead and look up the rest of the scores before we go to directx 12 so we can see what the extreme and the ultra looks like for fire strike extreme testing with the portion of fire strike and we have an ultra right after and the same drivers on the left and the right so the new on the left right is the old and you're going to see a drastic improvement no scheduling on a lot of the tests i just run is usually without the scheduling and without the um, variable fresh rate on and then i just do a variety of resets and turning off and on to see what happens with the testing um, but straight out the gate these were really great scores now looking at the ultra the same test works really really well so my advice to people that are playing in the direct x11 realm is definitely do not turn on your advanced scheduling so before you turn on your graphics turn it all off install the driver um, and then probably just add variable fresh rate or just keep it native until the next circumvent or you see my mid patch note because like dang man windows is such a hot mess right now so but at least it's running native once you first install it and everything's just defaulted and then you can overclock it it seems like it's pretty decent i'll be running an overclocking episode to since this is the tail end of august to see if like this one overclocks since the other ones were kind of garbage a little bit tiny bit and then someone were good right after windows upgraded it was really crazy um if you've been watching the series of tech related information that i've been dropping but let's go ahead and go to directx 12 see what the actual information is going to be for our station this follows an exact opposite. It actually shows that DirectX 12 was better under the Windows ecosystem currently and the AMD setting for the 20.8.2. Now, if you are experiencing issues at this point in time and you're like, hey, the install isn't working, you can always very quickly um, install the standard, which they're still recommending is 20.4.2. That should work for a majority of the GPU ecosystems. But let's go ahead and take a peek at what's going down at the the extreme test of what's going down for time spy. And this is where you see it pull ahead in 4K, which is pretty insane. I mean, this is where you just start to look at what's going on. And the last few updates that Windows has had, as well as what AMD and NVIDIA are just been trying to play with, has just been garbage. It's like, I don't know what happened. They had such a good thing going, but then there's security updates that completely destroy everything for like Windows and performance for us. Uh, so if you're new to the channel, you can always subscribe. Absolutely free. Helps me out as a creator. And if you do today, 
day. Who knows? Maybe, just maybe, freaking George Lucas will come back and actually write a really good Star Wars movie. I mean, that'd be cool. Kick JJ off the throne for a second. I mean, he owns the stars. He has the Trek, he has the wars, and it's really interesting to see. You know, maybe the return of something that might be good. But I don't know. I feel like maybe sometimes you just got to leave that legend down. You know what I mean? Let him, like, fight for his own thing. And maybe at the very end, just randomly just, like, throw out some book or something. But um, I would prefer a book, honestly. I think that'd be pretty cool. But besides me nerding out on that situation, everyone, have a very nice day. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. And thank you, everyone, for all the people that have been taking the... Uh, links down below and utilizing that through amazon helps me out as a creator too because they're just portal links that go over there it doesn't mean you have to buy that actual physical item but anything you go and buy and put in your cart after you've gone through that portal helps me out as a creator so i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay classy stay safe and we'll see what ends up happening with our overclocking episode that we'll have in the near future as well as what ends up happening with the mid patch note once they circumvent stuff with the 3.5 and 4.5 um, portions of the 2004 so maybe we'll actually see some really good stuff for the event scheduling because right now advanced scheduling is trash i would like to think that you really can't use it but you can use your your variable fresh rate that's good just don't mess with the event scheduling just keep it native or variable refresh rate all right everyone see you later